All right, so moving on and continuing forward, day 19. I'm just still shocked that in a spam of, because I did check it roughly, however, I checked it this morning. In a spam of one week, I think exactly today, last week is when I uploaded day 10 and maybe even day 11. Within a spam of a week, seven days roughly, I'm already at day 19. And how long it took me from day one to nine, I don't even want to get into it. But I'm just really impressed that, really, if you, like I stated, within a week, 10 videos, I'm just speechless, really speechless. Now, as far as for this video, I did went out. I did take some couple photos. However, I was looking more into them. All the fucking photos came out out of focus. Unfortunate, but it is what it is. Uh, although I could have fucking swear as I was taking it, it came out in focus. Now, if you guys are wondering what it was, it was just about a bird just on a power line. Nothing too exciting. So we see here. I stated yesterday that yesterday I went out to DC and I took some photos. This may not be the most interesting photo to say the least, but this is one that I want to in a way experiment on because I have maybe a couple of ideas that I want to test. So that's what we're going to do here. Now, again, as far as for the, the photo that I took today, I don't, I wouldn't say I, it wasn't because I didn't know what to do. I think it would just be on the fact that I still need more practice with my lens. The, the lens that I have, the, the 100 to 400 millimeter lens. I'll get back to that, what, what I want to say. But again, I, uh, I really did try my best. I stood there for roughly five minutes trying to get the damn photo. And all the shots that I took at the end of the day was all for fucking nothing. Uh, again, I'm very unfortunate, but it is what it is. Now, I held, I stopped myself for a second because I was really thinking about it. And I think I've maybe, maybe I've already hinted towards this some time ago. I don't know which video was it. But as far as for day 20, I really don't think I'm going to be doing my analysis video, me critiquing the, the past couple of days. I want to give it more time. Yeah, like I've stated, maybe roughly day 30, maybe hell, even 50. I don't know. I want to give it more time. So right now, as it stands, what possibly is going to happen as far as for day 20, next video, hopefully tomorrow, I'm actually going to show you guys the gear that I'm using. Because again, roughly 19, well, yeah, in this case, it'd be 19, but tomorrow would be 20 videos in. And I haven't even told you guys what lenses what camera what filters i'm using to make these videos so i i was giving it some thought again it's gonna be it's probably gonna happen right i mean unless if i take a really fantastic photo that i just can't wait to edit which probably i lead out that's not gonna happen but i'm more leaning towards what's the word i'm more leaning towards Dedicated day 20 as far as showing you guys my the gear the camera all that shit so that way here so you guys can can see that you know with these somewhat okay photos that I'm taking and that I'm editing you know you don't really have to have the best of the best right you can really start off photography with really any any camera again i'm gonna really get more into detail in the next video again if i if i do go as planned as and i do show you guys my my um my camera gear but that's just a little that was just a little insight as to what's gonna take place hopefully tomorrow well the reason i say hopefully is because uh i don't know uh maybe the way how things are scheduled um, may be questionable and when I mean questionable, I mean that I'm going to be probably too busy to record. 
that maybe this may be the last day of the of the one week daily upload period although i don't want that to be the case um i knew eventually it was gonna happen but it is it is what it is i was just proud i'll still try my best i'll still try my best to keep up with that consistency as far as trying to upload daily right because that's at the end of the day that's my that's my end goal with with this so but anyways as meanwhile i've been talking i've been already i've already kind of adjusted the basic sections I'm questionable to see if i made it better or not again but i think for right now we should do good or we should be good so right now with tone curve again i i don't know what what changed I, I really do think it's just on the fact that I got more practice into tone curve that I just all of a sudden really, really like how um, it came out or how I really like how I like using tone curve as far as with my photos and what changes it makes or what changes it brings to the photos. It just took that one video for me to test it and now I've kind of fallen in love with it. Although it may be questionable if I, if it's serving my photos well, I personally still enjoy using it. Now, of course, like with many things, I'm still nowhere near learning all of it. And, you know, I still have a long ways to go as far as understanding and and continuously progressing as far as with not just with tone curve, but really with any with any section or any tool that Lightroom has to offer. Now, I don't know, this this tone curve looks kind of janky compared to the other tone curves that we would normally use. If I need to make any changes, I'll come back to it. Uh, yeah, I'll probably just adjust it, maybe just a little. Okay, we'll probably, even though that really looks like the same, like nothing changed, I'll try to make it somewhat decently better. You know what, let's just try to, because one problem I'm seeing that I'm immediately going to adjust after tone curve is this blue is really, really saturated. I don't want two fucking points. Okay. This blue is really, really saturated. And I'm trying my best to kind of have a nice balance. Okay, again, if I need to make any more changes, I'll come back to it. But yeah, immediately the first thing I'm going to do with this is probably decrease some of this blue. I mean, I don't I don't want a lot of this blue showing up. And maybe just a slight decrease in luminance. Now, again, I just keep on completely fucking forgetting. I want to crop this photo. As far as what what would be my style? I don't. I don't know what. I think I would need to. I think I would need to see what which one would would suit the photo best. Okay, I think I got a okay crop. Although more looking at it, I don't know if this is really okay. But I think this is the best that I can do. So we're just gonna leave it as it is. I did also do the auto as far as angling it a little bit. Again, I try my best as I'm taking the photo to use the the level as much as possible, but I'm more looking at it. it just because I have the camera level, that doesn't always seem to be the best, I guess, level as far as for taking photos. So if I need to come back and adjust it, then I'll just do that now as far as with I don't know, I just see it a little bit more weird. Okay, well, I, I think for right now, we just leave it as it is. Now, back to what we were doing with our color mixtures. So really here, we only gotta worry about a couple colors. Green, blue, there's no white here. Although we're, we're slowly creeping over the, I guess again, the clipping portion as far as with the whites. So we're gonna definitely, oh shit. We're gonna definitely keep an eye on that and maybe, just maybe even. 
Let me just decrease it a little bit just so we're a little bit all right. That makes it better, yeah. Do I wanna saturate the, the green a little bit more? Oh shit, so I'm 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 also seeing it also it's also affecting the, the monument itself. Damn. Well let's see here. I I would personally wanna have the monument relatively white. If we were to do this. Ah, okay. Oh, wow. That is very interesting. Okay, that actually, believe it or not, I did not think that that was even possible. Okay, that just kind of saved my ass in a way. So, again, all new stuff here. I had no idea this was even possible. So now, is it still adjusting the... Oh, shit, it's still adjusting. Okay, but anyways, I think I have a better control now as far as adjusting the the monument here because yes i want to adjust the the green as well with the trees but if nothing can be done then uh, i'm not gonna worry about it although i could go back to the tone curve and kind of saturate them a little bit more but we'll, we'll see but for right now as far as the monument i want to have that nice color relatively okay yeah i like that actually oh my gosh yeah fucking in a way day and night it, yeah the, the original photo looked green as shit but now i made it a little bit better maybe now that's good I, I one thing i have noticed is that i need to be very careful as far as with the global section here because since it's adjusting the whole photo any small or any or just a too much color can really fuck up the the photo so i gotta be very careful although but no i was just looking to see if the cooler sex or the cooler side as far as with the blues would make it better but personally for for my taste i i don't like it too much okay i think decrease in luminance actually made it relatively okay yeah i i personally like that okay that's fine now if we go to our shadows which probably it's not gonna affect a lot Ah, okay here we go it's gonna affect mostly the greens or i'm sorry the trees so this is where we would want to kind of saturate but at the same time not saturate the the trees because again okay i need i need it's it's hinting towards green so i need to be very careful but i think actually the way how we have it I think it's actually a, a, a nice balance color, maybe. Just reset that. Not gonna even do with highlights. Okay, maybe as far as for right now with color grading, because in the meantime, I was trying to see what's a nice balance with highlights. I'm probably just gonna leave shadows and highlights, or I'm sorry, midtones and highlights the same. Not gonna do any changes. But again, if I need to make any more changes, so I'll come back. But th this photo, I'm not going to say that it's, that's really, I'm not going to say it's challenging, but at the same time, I'm dealing with a lot of colors and my histogram is really kind of all over the place right now. There's not one set in stone color because I'm trying to saturate the blues while at the same time not o trying to oversaturate the, the greens. I think I got a fairly good job right now but it's questionable i may want to come back and probably fix them but before we move on which probably my next step will probably be a masking probably for the sky or for the background again i'll see which one works but if we just do a quick before and after okay well when we put it like that I, yeah, when we put it like that, I personally think that that is a a little improvement. Is it a major improvement? Probably not, but... Yeah, in all fairness, really, well, all what we just done is just ever so slightly made the, made the photo a little bit more warmer. Kind of 
color correcting the the monument and then just a little bit slightly saturating the greens on the on the trees really in all fairness that's that's all what's taking place okay so uh again i i said i was gonna do masking although i looked at it and i really don't have much to deal with because the i guess the lightroom is not picking up the the monument nor really the sky well, this guy, yeah, it is picking it up good, but there's not much change to do with this guy to begin with. So I'm just right now currently just on tone curve, seeing if there's any changes that we can do. And maybe I did find it. Maybe I, I, I found the one that I was trying to look for. So I was saying that I wanted to make the trees a little bit, just a little bit more saturated. I think I found the option here again I'm, I'm also looking at my histogram as i'm doing this and i'm just ever so slightly creeping up towards that overexposed overexposed portion so i, I want to keep this relatively relatively okay there as far as with the whites eh, yeah i think we're just gonna leave that piece so if we were to okay just a slight expose overall I can't think of anything else as far as at the moment right now that could transform this into a majestic, very good looking photo. Uh, so maybe as unfortunate as it may be, I might have to say that's it. Um, I'm looking back and forth. Before, after. In all fairness, what was done, just a slight increase on saturation as far as with the greens, a little bit increase with the blues, making the monument a little bit color corrected in a way, or exposed. And maybe as unfortunate as it may be, uh, I think that's what's, I think that's what's going to be for, for this video. Although I, I, I really don't want it to be. But I think that's just going to have to be in. Uh, man, I tell you, this one was... Uh, <laughs> um, it's... Unfortunate, yes. But... I've stated I try my best to like every single photo. Especially when I did that, un um, that long exposure video. I don't, I can't remember what day it was. I'm just looking back at that video. I'm just thinking about myself right now. <laughs> Two very different feelings towards the end product. I mean, I guess overall, yes, it's an, it's a, it's better maybe, but uh, man, I, I don't know. I just don't know what to say with this. Maybe I might. Maybe this might be even a worse feeling than um, that I had, even more than the nighttime photo I did on day nine. I don't know. I just I I don't know what what to say as far as with this photo. I mean, it's there, right? And in, in all fairness, if it was gonna be like that, I should have just posted the the raw photo, but. Man, well, I'm actually at a, at a loss for words. But anyways, let's try not to get our moods worsened or really in a in a bad mood. Although it may look like I'm in a bad mood. Overall, did we do any changes? Yes. Did it was it worth however long this video is? Probably not. I'm gonna try my best as far as with this video. Try to put the interesting photos or the interesting clips because. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't think this video should be roughly 20 minutes long. I don't think so. I'm going to try my best. But anyways, as far as with that. Like I've stated, for next video, we're done talking about this. Because in all fairness, I don't, I don't think I want to talk about this photo anymore. It's making me feel sick. <coughs> <coughs> it's making me feel sick as I'm talking about it. But anyways, like I've stated, hopefully for tomorrow, day 20, I'm going to be talking about my gear as far as what I use. Um, I'm, I may even show you guys how everything, not just specifically my camera and my lenses. 
I might show I might show you even though you guys already see it every video the type of laptop I use the action camera all that fucking ma ma magnificent stuff that was incredibly cheap anyone with a one dollar budget can buy right that's sar that's sarcasm but anyways that's hopefully gonna be the the video for tomorrow although like I've stated if I find or if I make a more interesting photo that I just could not wait for, I don't know, two, three days to edit. Then, again, if I make an interesting photo, I'll I'll take tomorrow, day 20, to edit that. Or at least attempt to. And then, maybe day 21, 22, I'm not sure. I'll put in the, the gear video. But more leaning towards it, I'm probably going to do the... the gear video tomorrow day 20 as it stands right now that's kind of my that's kind of my schedule for for tomorrow but that doesn't mean i'm gonna try not to make an interesting photo so hopefully after that video is published that can be or the photo that i take that's interesting will be the video after day 21 or 22 i'm not sure but as it stands that's kind of what I'm thinking right now as the weekend is, is approaching, right? But yeah, other than that, um, I, I guess thank you all for watching. If, if you made it this far, I really do appreciate it. Because if you're watching at this point, I'm quite surprised. I wouldn't blame you if you've, if there were moments in the video that you wanted to click off, I don't blame you. But I just got a massive headache now just by looking at this photo i'm not sure maybe this maybe this might be the worst photo i've edited by far in this journey which i would come to expect i didn't expect just all highs i, I knew there was going to be some lows as well unfortunately as i look at it no matter how no matter how positive i try to be this is probably an all-time low for me personally uh, i don't know was it worth however long this video was i'm not sure but if if you made it this far i i, I greatly appreciate it you know I, I don't really say that m many times, but if you made it to, if you really just watch any of my videos, I greatly appreciate it. It really does, it really does bring me joy as far as there's people out there that are enjoying the type of content and what I'm doing behind the scenes. Because again, I would consider this behind the scenes because more people at the moment right now tend to look at the finished product, the edited photo on my Instagram. But not many people see what behind the scenes or what's my thought process with these videos right now. So again, if you made it this far, and not just in this video, but in any other of my videos, I greatly do appreciate it. It means a lot to me. But other than that, that's all I got to say. And I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow, hopefully in day 20.